hello and welcome to you all so in this video we are going to see a new reconciling view of accounting module from upcoming version of Udu Udu 19 so yes friends in Udu 19 Udu has a revamped the reconciling view of accounting module so without wasting any time let's jump to the database currently I am on my Udu version 19 database and I have installed the accounting module so let me click on accounting so on a first note we are on a dashboard of accounting module if I'm clicking on configuration we can see directly the chart of accounts and all of the menus so Udu also revamp the the structure of menus in the configuration of accounting module we cannot able to see the add bank account menu over here because Udu has removed that menu from the the configurations menus of accounting i have already created a separate video for add a bank account in Udu 19 you can click on i button and check that video also or you can go to the description i have put a link on it you can check that video so moving back on a reconciling view so let me go to the bank journal clicking on a bank and if I'm going on a transaction, so this is the reconciling view, list view of bank reconciliation. And if I'm clicking on Kanban, this is the Kanban view of bank reconciliation. So currently we don't have any data, so it is blank. So let's prepare some data. I'm preparing customer invoice. So let me go to the customer invoice. And I'm creating a customer invoice for my customer Malay. I'm selling services worth of $1,000 and I'm just save this record so I have prepared one customer invoice I'm confirming it and let's just pay this customer invoice with my bank so currently it is on in payment let's go to now dashboard and assume that I have fetch my bank statement and my bank statement lines are already created in uh, current bank journal so currently i don't have any uh, that functionality so i'll manually prepare the transactions so i'm creating a transaction of selling services and at that time i have not added any customer in my statement line so just keep a blank for this partner and I'm adding amount of thousand dollar and save the record so I just added one statement line and it is on a postage state now let's just move to Kanban view so this is the the reconciling view of bank statement we can see this is the the statement line we have a statement date and we have the the chatter options if I'm clicking on it would open the chatter next we have the the statement line description I have added description of selling services and here we have some options for reconciliation we have a statement button where we can generate a statement for all the lines and we have one partner button so if we don't have any partner for this statement line would propose to set the partner and at the last we have a amount so let's just set the partner so I am click on a set partner button who do give me a list of all the partners so I'll just select my partner so when I'm select my partner who do match my partner with my statement line details and automatically who do finds one invoice because we have only one invoice so who finds only one statement only one general entry which are matched with the statement lines and do directly reconciling it with my statement lines so this is my statement this is my invoicing which now paid and I can able to see the amount of thousand which is on a green and my current balance is thousand so how quick and easy would do just reconciling my statement lines which matching my entries if I'm going back on a dashboard I can able to see my thousand of balance on my bank account so now let's prepare some more data 
so i'm going on a same customer invoice i'm just duplicating it and we go with the thousand of amount i'm putting it uh, on a draft state because in urdu 90 now we can able to reconcile in our draft customer or vendor bills so i'm putting on a draft state thousand of amount and now let's just prepare one vendor i'm preparing vendor bill for my vendor setting a date and i'm purchasing goods or materials of thousand again to make some readable amount and i'm preparing the the vendor bills so we have one vendor bills of thousand and we have one customer invoicing which are not paid stage let's make again a duplicate and put it different amount for these statements and just confirm so now we have one customer one confirm invoice of customer malay and one draft invoice of malay and on a vendor i have a vendor bill of thousand so let's make a bunch of uh, 2000 and 1000 total 3000 of customer invoice statement lines and one for vendor which is a uh, thousand so let's go to the dashboard again i'm preparing a manual transaction line so on a list view i'm adding selling services for my vendor for this time i'm selecting my vendor of 3000 and saving the records now purchasing goods from my vendor of 1000 okay so i prepared two lines and let's assume that i have import my bank statement and when i import my bank statement at that time on a dashboard we can able to see the transactions so these are all the transactions and on the dashboard database we can see the lines are matched because to automatically match the lines with our entries and it automatically match our reconciliations with the uh, the added lines now let's just reset it so we can manually check and manually reconciling it so when we have a, a number of multiple lines then we can able to see the lines like this so these all are the lines So the first line which we already are reconciling so it is on a we can able to see it's on a gray color now for this purchasing goods we can able to see we can directly select our payable accounts because it is a vendor bill line so do propose us a payable accounts to reconciling with the payable accounts and for selling services which is our customer invoice line so do propose us to set a receivable accounts now we can able to see the reconciling button so if i'm clicking on this button reconciling would you give me all the the matching line with the statement lines on a footer we can able to see the statement lines where we have a dates description and balance and from these statement lines we can able to select any statement lines and reconciling it next we have a shortcut of payable account we can able to directly select the payable for these purchasing same as we have a receivable uh, button where we can directly set the receivable accounts and reconciling these statement lines here we have a set account button so if i am clicking on it would you give me the list of accounts where i can select any accounts which are going to counter account for these statements lines and we can reconciling it here we can able to see drop down where we have a receivable which is the the shortcut button we have one upload bill action where we can import our uh, documents related for this statement lines we have an internal transfer so we can do an internal transfer with these lines we can able to manage our models so if i'm clicking on it we have a list of reconciling model which we have created 
and we can able to manage it if i'm clicking on it open journal entry so when we import these statement lines we can able to see these statement lines as well so this is a statement lines which create the journal entry in the uru and at the last we have uh, the delete transaction button so we can able to delete it this line directly from this delete transaction action on the right hand side we can able to see the amounts and here we can able to see the reconciliation so uru match one reconciling entry which is the same as this button i can click on it and i can able to select and reconcile so uru reconciling my purchasing goods so the bottom which is my uh, matching line vendor and matching lines and on the top we can see the purchasing good so this is my statement line description and statement line vendor i can able to click on it and edit the details and from here i can able to reset it again so i can reset this line as well so let's just reconciling this and from here we can able to see two reconciling lines with this amount so i can able to select these two one is on a draft which are our draft invoice and one is we are confirming this invoice we can select and reconcile so those two lines already reconciling with our statement lines and now we have a current balance of 3000 in our bank account i can able to select the statements and create it as well so i have prepared one statements for this particular transaction now if i'm going back on a dashboard i can able to see my general balance of 3000 and if i'm going on a statements i have my one statement and it and the balance 3000 dollar and i can able to see all the transaction on clicking on it i can able to print uh, the statements also i can select the lines the statements and print it the statement reports will be printed so i hope guys you like this uh, newly a revamped a reconciling model or reconciling view of uh, the accounting module you can directly go on a transaction and check so these all are the about the reconciliation we can easily quickly reconciling these uh, statement lines with our uh, general entries i hope guys you like this video and if you like this video then please like and subscribe my youtube channel thank you for watching